Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another edition of Stephen Hyde's Exploration Adventures. Today, we are going to go explore West Hylebost Wetlands Park here in Federal Way, Washington. And this will be the first video that's shot in widescreen for the enjoyment of those of you who might have a widescreen television set. If not, you will uh, see it this as uh, the video will be letterboxed. So, anyways, once again, I'm Stephen Hyde and here to take you on this adventure here. Alright, it is... <laughs> trying to think of a date here. Monday. Yeah. I don't feel like taking another take, so. <laughs> Monday, May 7th, 2007. Sunny skies today. About 75 degrees. So, great day for, for our little day hike here. A little adventure, a little exploration adventure. All right. Actually, technically, that trail is over here, but we're going this way. <laughs> so anyway, last time I was here, uh, or actually, since the last time I was here, looks like they're doing some work there. Don't know what they're doing there. It's all covered up, I guess, to prevent the growth of uh, blackberry bushes. Those things can be a real pain in the ass. They grow everywhere, and they just don't go away. In fact, if you cut them, they sometimes grow back even faster. So, but it's like they're trying to get rid of them, which is good. Nothing real pretty about blackberry bushes, anyway. So anyway, we are heading down this little trail here into the park. It's gonna be fun. Plus, uh, long way. Yeah, there's some. It's. What am I trying to say here? They have. Uh, the trail here is an interpretive trail, which means they have like little signs and stuff that describe the plants, flowers, and other wildlife they have here. Just kind of neat. Alright, here we have the parking lot. Nobody's here today, so. I think we got to park all to ourselves. Some cars out in the other parking lot earlier. I think they closed this off when they built that brand new blacktop uh, parking lot there. Now, as with uh, the last uh, day hike or exploration trip I did, there is some storm damage from the windstorms last winter. So, of course, we gotta get out of here by dusk. So, now they'd like you to sign in when you come in here. That way, I'll show your support for the uh, for the park here. That page is full, so looks like I'm gonna start a new page here. Even hide. Uh, 
My right is not real good when I'm holding the camera. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. One. <laughs> All right. Here's the. Uh, huh. Let's see. How, let's see. I'll take a couple of these souvenirs. There's a little mini uh, trail here. We are here, by the way. We'll be going all through here, down to the little pond there. So yeah, looks like uh, I built some more trails. I don't know. I guess we'll see. There's another uh, map here. Pretty cool. Of course, uh, please stay on the trail, which we will. Either that or any place where there's not any plants growing. Cool little information kiosk here. Hey, what's this? Okay. Nothing back there. <laughs> so, yes. All right. Well, here we go. We are uh, heading to the main portion of the park here. Onto the trails. Once again, do not adjust your set if you got an older uh, 4x3 television set. This is in widescreen. For a more richer uh, viewing experience. See, here's uh, one of the uh, things here Goldenrod. Where? I don't see any. Do you see any? I don't see any. <laughs> well, some of these signs don't necessarily uh, mean those plants are around here. Just kind of a little thing for you to stop and read. A little break, you know. And got the uh, Pacific water leaf there. Along with its uh, unpronounceable Greek name. Let's go down here first and check out what's here. Hello. I think I've gone down here before. I don't think there's anything here of interest. At least, not that thing. Careful with those little pokey bushes there. Yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't think there's anything of interest over there. Go ahead. Come back onto the main trail here. Alright. Got a little picnic area over there. A little clearing. I've already eaten though, so we will not be taking advantage of that amenity at this time. So, there are no dogs or any other kind of pets allowed or bicycles. Without warning again, use extreme caution. So, that's not pretty come. <laughs> Okay, got some people here. Cooley's hedge nettle. Once again, where? Oh wait, there we go right there. Must be it. Got some more down here. All right. Continuing on the route now. It's a nice day, nice warm day today. So I jumped at the chance to go somewhere today and videotape. Okay, now we're on the boardwalk here, so to speak. 
let me tell you why. Uh, this is a wetland, and there's some uh, underground springs. You don't want to be stepping on any piece of land where there's an underground spring. A little surprise probably underneath. Uh, it'll probably uh, suck you down into the earth. Not suck you down, but there'll be some kind of sinking involved. So, don't want that to happen. So, we'll be, we'll be staying on the trail here. There's some of that storm damage there. Looks like the, uh, kind of looks like the most part the parks uh, withstood the storm pretty well. Unless they did a really gnarly cleanup job. We shall see. Here you go. The Pacific Crab Apple. Where is this Pacific Crab Apple, though? I don't see it. Okay. Some stink weeds around, though. That's for sure. All right, the Nutka Rose. Those must be it right there. That must be the Nutka Rose there. Okay. Continuing onward. That's more over there. Must got those little tiny irritating flies. So Alright. The cottonwood fern. You kinda see these everywhere. Cottonwood fern. Nice looking plant there. Okay. It's all sorts of neat little plants and flowers and other kinds of wildlife here. Okay. Mmm. Stink weeds. <laughs> okay. Then I got the Oregon ash plants. Even though we're not in Oregon, but they grow up here. And I'm guessing those are it right there. All right. Continuing onward now. So we, uh, nope. A little more storm damage here. It's like uh, partially uprooted the uh, walkway there. The Labrador T. I don't see any of those Labrador T's around. Must have got teed off and left. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Okay. Not there though. I don't see him. Alright. I'm going to continue over there, but first, we got another cool little area here. And some more storm damage as well. It's like an earthquake hit here or something. The deep sinks. Where is this deep sink at? It's over here. The hole here is about 20 feet deep. Don't seem like it from here, but it is somewhere along the line there. But that's an underground spring coming from somewhere. Looks like it's uh, it originates somewhere down here. Right under there is a bunch of water. So, 
Unfortunately, this is not high definition, so might be able to read it, might not be able to pause it or do a freeze frame or something. I'm not going to sit here and read it all day. So, all right, and back onto the trail now. I heard a trickling stream somewhere. I think that was my uh, water bottle. Or, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, got uh, continuing on now on this trail. Step off here a little bit. See how uh, how wobbly the ground is. That's why they got that here. The Western Hemlock. Those scenes are everywhere. Western Hemlock. Very poisonous too, I believe. Alright. And look what we got here. We got some more storm damage. This wasn't like this last time I was here. More of those underground springs. And the tree came up and exposed this underground spring along with all the uh, creepy, crawly, wormy things that might have been under here. Pretty cool to see what it looks like right under a tree, though. Looks like wildlife is, uh, or nature's taking its course here. The inauguration day storm. Another big windstorm that happened here. Right. The, the wetlands survived, but as you can see, the uh, the boardwalk didn't. The boardwalks didn't really survive all too well. <laughs> kind of got tossed away and everything. Not too pretty, but okay. The deer fern, the deer fern. See these pretty much everywhere too. There's uh, must be our deer fern right there. All right. Continuing on now, looks like they replaced the wooden boards there. Probably got destroyed by the windstorm. There's one of those little underground springs. Little wetland pond there. The water parsley. Hey, I don't see him though. You see, not everything is here at the same time. Some of the plants, you know, they won't show up till like winter time. Some won't show up till summer. Some die off during the spring. Some don't show up till fall. Yeah. So probably won't be seen. Uh, a lot of these plants but they're here somewhere or they'll be here eventually can't really read that but the red uh, you gotta clean that up the red huckleberry I can't even see what it's supposed to look like <laughs> so moving on now okay another little Indian trail here 
and another one. So you carefully, carefully planned out this whole trail. Stink current. That's what we're smelling. Those scenes right here. The stink current. Okay. Yeah, I don't recall it ever being this open before. Looks <laughs> like a lot of those trees got destroyed. <laughs> they mark every single little tiny thing that got damaged, don't they? Smart storm damage. Ah! Just kidding. Okay. Now I hear a trick lead stream somewhere over there. Do you hear it? I can hear it. All the mini, little mini creeks they got here. Looks like that sign was lost. Algae. <laughs> Plain old algae. Somewhere. Actually, it's mostly on the water, but sometimes they'll wash up on plants and stuff. Douglas fir! Douglas fir tree. You got them all around. Like, for example, right uh, over there. Somewhere. There you go. That's a Douglas fir. Those are everywhere. There's our little tiny stream there. Well, sometimes salmon come through here too. That water looks so nice on a warm day. But this is a protected wetland and it'd be kind of neat to see where it goes, but no. Not in this limited time frame. So, continuing onward now. The vine maple. The vine maple. If it's a uh, counterpart Greek name. Let's see. Those look like the vine maples right there. Not exactly the uh, same color as in that picture. But. Brown cubicle rock. It's a fungus that breaks wood down real quickly for wood cells. Hey, check it out. Well, folks, here's uh, the remnants of that 1993 uh, windstorm, as we saw in that little picture on that little interpretive sign. You uh, kept, kept the remnants here. But yeah, that used to be on the ground. And the tr that tree... Yeah, right was built, you know, the boardwalk was built right next to that tree, but as you can see, uh, that's what's left of it, which means I think the trail used to go from here and across instead of down and around, but yeah, this is what the ground is, is made of though, very uh, delicate and wobbly and everything. A little seat there. Probably taking a break in a little bit here. There's the back side of it. That's what holds down the boardwalk to uh, to the ground. <laughs> so, and mind you, that'll probably happen again sometime soon. <clears throat> Cascara, Cascara shrub that grows. 30 feet in the air. Once again, where is it? I don't see it. It is unavailable at this time. Well, anyway. Continuing onward now. Here's uh, 
some more storm damage again. Got a little break in the trail here. Let's go off and check this out. Sitka spruce. Sitka spruce. I believe uh, that's it right there. The Sitka spruce. Going all the way up there. Big ol' uh, branch there too. Pretty cool looking. Oh, wait. Let's see what's over here. They got this build all the way over here for some reason. I don't know what, but... Take a look at some more of the wildlife here. Got some more people coming. On there. Okay. <laughs> Got some nice friendly people on the trail here. Alright, continuing on. That was purposely uh, cut out, by the way. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. Make room for a tree there. Salmon berry. We see no salmon berries here, though. Unless that's it right there. I don't think that's it, though. I think salmon berries are a lot, large, a lot uh, larger than that. <clears throat> okay. Continuing on with it now. No sign. Just what it looks like. No sign. Either somebody ripped it off or a windstorm ripped it off or somebody probably took it home as a souvenir. Okay. We got some uh, some kind of marker there. H Z Control something. Okay. Moving on now. Long uh, stretch of trail here without a, any kind of information. Some more storm damage. This wasn't like this last time I was here. That tree came a tumbling down. Timber! Redberry Elder. Something else uh, can't see here. But maybe I gotta clean out some of the signs there. Okay. Continuing on now, about uh, up on a half hour into our little exploration adventure here, just under that right now. Um, got another long stretch trail here, another broken off sign. Nice little clearing there. Okay. False lily of the valley. Ooh. Those are it right there. Uh, the false lily of the valleys. Or false lilies of the valley. Something like that. Okay. 
Okay. Move that out of the way. Trillium. I see no trilliums around here. Do you? I don't. Now it's really starting to sound like uh, Dora the Explorer almost. Now pausing. <laughs> you know. Oh well. Yeah. Got some little plants or little things there popping out. That might be that some of that one plant that we saw a couple of signs ago that uh, we can spot anywhere. Another sign of storm damage there. Say they mark every little thing. Red Oyser dogwood. Yeah, excuse me, red Aussier dogwood. <laughs> Not seeing them. Oh wait, wait, wait. Maybe. No, I don't think. I don't see them. It smells nice here though. Okay. Moving onward here through this uh, erratic uh, boardwalk trail here. I hear more people. This place is getting more popular. All right, here's where we come to the fork in the road here. Brook Lake and the return loop. We're gonna go down the Brook Lake here. All right, continuing onward now. Going down the trail to Brook Lake. This be a little neat little area to check out. Kind of look refreshing too, except probably don't want to swim in it. <laughs> kind of mucky and everything. All right, licorice fern. Licorice fern. And bet that's it right there. That'd be the licorice fern. More people coming. Hi. <laughs> hey. Our first clue. Got a little bridge here. Go over this little little pond here. By the way, I do make it a policy not to videotape people unless they want to. So <laughs> that's why I pulled the camera away. You know, common courtesy. And I think, I believe, this is fed by an underground spring. It's pretty neat. Got the little bugs all around there too. Okay, continuing onward. Oh, wait. Youth on Age. Piggyback plant. Um, okay. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Do you? Yep. Ain't around for today's filming. <laughs> okay, continuing on now. Cool. A little bridge here. Protected by a fence. Okay, come down off the bridge now. Gotta be hitting the uh, Brook Lake here real quickly. A little bit of a clearing there. Ooh. And it just got nice and warm all of a sudden, too. Yep, and up, oh, more storm damage. 
Alright. And here we are, folks. Brook Lake. Kind of more like a pond, but <laughs> still pretty neat. This little tiny pond over here. Water level's kind of high. Yeah. Shh. Gonna head off the trail a little bit here. Get a more up close view. Just want to be careful also. I hear a little waterfall over there. You hear it? Is it coming? Coming from over there. Got some ducks there. Excuse the shaky camera. I don't have a tripod. I'm really zoomed in. So. Looks nice and refreshing. Wouldn't want to swim in it though. And uh, get in trouble anyway if you did. Winter and spring and early summer, the water levels are real high, so it kind of looks neat. Otherwise, you walked out like all the way to there. Sixty degree view here. All right, that's Brook Lake. See people go on the other side there too. I think that's somebody else's property. Yep. Pretty neat there. Okay. Some more trees that fell over there. A little trail over here. Go ahead and come on to this trail for a little bit. Off the beaten path. Not very interesting, just a bunch of trees. <laughs> Alright. Since we have limited time. Go ahead and get on back to the main boardwalk trail. Go ahead and make our way back to the front entrance and wrap things up. So, okay. So here we are once again, back on the trail, and heading back on the bridge. Enjoy the uh, the quietness here. I think we missed one. Creeping buttercup. I don't see that one either. Huh. Okay. Head 
back to the fork of the the fork in the road here. And we're here. All right. This is where we came from and where we came from. All right. Uh, substitute R there. So he probably stole it. Jack the R, man. No jack the letters. Anyway, back on to the return loop. No information available. <laughs> Either that or the plant, uh, the plant probably died off in this area. And whoa! Well, folks, this is real uh, neat. Whoa! Shoot! Let's just put that back. <laughs> Whoops. Good as <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like this part of the trail dropped. So, I want to be careful. You folks did not see that. Okay. Head on back now. Let's come up, up, come up to the nurse log. Most of the stumps along the boardwalk serve as nurseries for young trees. So, dead stumps turn into new life for new plants. Like uh, uh, this one, for example. Nothing's growing there yet. Not enough time has passed, but eventually. Uh, smells nice and fresh out here. Whoa! Bumblebee. Almost stepped on it. That would not have been great. See another uh, tree that fell here. Not a wise decision to step on those. Just the natural progression of a wetland. Looks like they uh, cut some uh, branches off here. Kind of looks a little straight. No information available. Okay. Down there, a little tiny little trail. You now, there's a lot to this park. Kind of wish they made a lot more trails and stuff. It's a lot to explore around here. But someday, when they get the funding <laughs> or the interest, for now, just leave wildlife alone and let nature have it. There was another tree that went down during that windstorm last December. Yep. Lots of, lots of trees here. Okay. Coming up now, uh, on the other side, hard hack slash steeple bush. It's got two names. Not seen them. Oh wait, yep. Let's see that and those. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, they've pretty much wrapped up for the season there. 
kind of dying out for the year. Probably grow during the winter time. But there they are. Some more here's the swamp birch. Um, those are right, right there. Next one with another plant. Then of course you got fireweed. Those I don't think are here. I think they just put that sign there just for the heck of it. <laughs> they don't grow there. Pretty neat. And you can tell definitely this is uh, somewhat of a rainforest. All right. <laughs> the false azalea. I don't think those are false azaleas, so... Yeah, some of these plants might not even be here. They just have these informational things. Just talk about them. Either that, they might have been here at one time. But then they died out. Some of those signs probably are gone because those plants aren't here anymore. Sometimes they might not even be here because... The unfortunate effects of global warming might be killing off most of these plants and stuff. That's why we gotta start watching out for the earth. It's got another fallen tree there. But yeah. Get some of those electric cars on the road and get some of those gas guzzlers off the roads. Wild blackberry. Yeah. But got plenty of those around. <laughs> okay, another little spring there. Well, springs are everywhere. Look at their sign of storm damage. Alright. We're about to wind down here. The last of this trail. Here we go. Another little rusting bench there. Another fallen tree which uh, has successfully been chopped up. As to uh, clear the way here, so people can continue unimpeded onto the trail. Okay. Yeah. Little scenes it nails down the trail to the ground or something. Alright folks, no more of those little signs we miss, little interpretive signs, okay, because uh, we're at the uh, back at the beginning here, 
like somebody took off that, with that sign. Or got ripped off or something. This has been a nice little adventure. For once, uh, something that's developed in a walking surface, too. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more of these, though. I think there used to be a bench there. It's probably got taken out by a tree or something. Or the wind blew it away. <laughs> All right. I don't think we caught this one. Black cottonwood. Which, mm -hmm. that thing, okay, here we are at the, at the end of the boardwalk here, once again, worked up a real good sweat. Get my exercise, especially on a nice day like this. So it's been a great trip, and uh, another one for the books. At least for this year. I don't think we caught this one either. The evergreen blackberry. See that one either. Okay, before we head on out of here, since we have some time, here's this little clearing here. It's meant to be like a little picnic area or whatever. Oh, nice. Got a little informational sign here. Permanent plants of uh, West Talbos. Lots of information. I'm not going to dwell over here though, so uh, if you want to learn more, want to come check it out yourself, come out here. Here in Federal Way. It's like some little apple trees or whatever. A little bit more development there. Uh, yep. Nice little tree there. Picnic table. Slightly mossed over picnic table. Alright. Oh! Go ahead and head on out of here. Yeah, there was storm damage, but not that much. I thought I'd use extreme caution on that one board that uh, flipped apart on us. That wasn't real cool, but we got it on camera, so. Okay. That's it. Well, from here at the beautiful West Halbos Park, I'm Stephen Hyde, and thanks for joining us for another edition of Stephen Hyde's Exploration Adventures. Join us next time.